Our first student speaker is Kerry Koloff, who will be receiving his degree from our College of Business Administration. Let me adjust the microphone, because that's what you do when you give speeches. Okay, uh, how many of you guys went to Disneyland? More importantly, how many of you saw the graduation cap that had the Mickey ears? Yeah, I think I'm going to get one of those. Okay, on a serious note, let me start off by saying what an honor it is to be standing here delivering a few parting thoughts to the graduates who have worked so hard to be sitting where you're sitting today. When I first received notification to submit an essay for this commencement ceremony, I thought, why bother? There's probably going to be hundreds of students doing the same thing. And what could I possibly say that would inspire a panel of judges, and more importantly, the graduating class of 2015? who've already achieved so much by merely being here. Well, see, that's when it occurred to me. I didn't have to look any further than the university's motto, aspire, believe, and achieve. Isn't that how we all got here to begin with? Let's start with aspire. Look around you. The graduating class sitting in this theater is not your typical gown-wearing group of graduates. That is, if there is such a thing. But you get the point, right? Many of us started our journey at different times and phases of our life. From the soldier at home or deployed abroad waiting in line to submit coursework for a class or two that they've taken this session to a grocery store clerk trying to find time between his work his family and his studies to a middle-aged guy slightly graying who's yeah who's here after a 30-year military career see we're all unique we all have different reasons for advancing our education whether it be for job placement advancement to learning a new skill, or simply to gain knowledge. But the one thing that we do have in common is the aspiration to better ourselves through education, no matter what the reason, and we were not going to let schedule or location stop us. That's truly the great thing about Trident University. See, Trident allowed us to complete our coursework within our schedules whenever and wherever internet connectivity was available, of course. And the professors and the academic advisors, they worked so hard with us to make sure that we could do it. You see, we, as we found out, or at least I found out, online studies is not that easy. See, it's a lot easier for you to walk away from your computer than it is to walk out of a classroom. <laughs> right? See, in a typical brick-and-mortar institution, the professor can look around the room and he can feel the aura and realize and know if he needs to expand on any of the inf information being delivered. Well, not so easy on, for online education. That's when the compassion and the understanding and the communication really come into play. And Trident's course access, that made that pretty easy for us. With professors working hard to provide timely input to any questions we may have, I will tell you what, they were definitely instrumental to my success. Okay, now that you've aspired for higher education, it was time to believe that it was possible. How many times have you heard, believe in yourself and you can accomplish anything? Yeah, it's easier said than done, right? But that can be the hardest part of any journey. And isn't that where it truly begins? Let's face it, you would have never begun your degree program if you didn't believe that you could finish it, or at least believe a little bit. There were times that I thought it would be impossible to finish my coursework due to unexpected life events. We all had them, I'm sure, right? <clears throat> but see, that's when believing in yourself and your family support made it happen. See, I can remember, one, I can remember my, my young son telling me, hey, Dad, quit stalling and get your homework done. <laughs> yeah, she was on the other foot this time, right? Or one Saturday morning, I was struggling with Math 201. Yeah, statistics. It had been a long time since I'd done statistics. Yeah, so my 17-year-old daughter walked in a room with a dry erase board, and she began to draw some alien scripture on it. Well, soon that scripture began to take the form of, a, of an equation. And then she came up with an answer to a practice problem. She turned to me, handed me the marker, and said, Now, Dad, it's your turn. So after a few trials and errors, not to mention a couple of cracks on the wrist, right, I had that aha moment. And at that moment, I realized I was not going to let statistics make me a statistic. <laughs> right? From that point on, the more coursework that I completed, the more I believed that the impossible was getting closer to my grasp. Wow, it only took me 35 years from the time I walked out of high school to get here. 
Never too late to learn, I always say. Right? Okay, now we've aspired for this education. We believed we could do this education. It was time to achieve it. Well, this one kind of speaks for itself, or you wouldn't be here, right? Doesn't it feel good? It's that sense of accomplishment, that sense of pride. You don't like the U.S. women's soccer team. All right, we won. You worked hard to get here, and now it's payback time. There's no more sitting around daydreaming thinking, what if? What would it be like to put on this cap and gown? Well, you're wearing it, so give yourselves a hand. So why Trident? Why now? Well, for many of us, this is the second start to a new and different tomorrow. You've heard that age-old adage, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Well, it truly is. Let me leave you with this parting thought from Solomon Khan, founder of Khan Academy, which I'm sure many of us are familiar with. He spoke to a graduating MIT class in 2012 and asked a simple question. Now bear with me, this is a quote, so I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Yeah. He said, imagine yourself in 50 years reflecting back on your life. You'll think of all the great moments you had with your family and friends, he said. Then you'll look back on your regrets and you'll wish that you'd laughed more, loved more, danced more, and appreciated more. You'll wish that you'd better use the gifts that you were given to empower others to make the world better. Then he posed a thought experiment. What if a genie could take you back? What would you do differently? Well, now do that. Because you do have the chance to do it all over again, he said, starting right now, as of today. You can be the source of positivity you'd wished you'd been the first time around. Now, this really applies to many of us here, but we didn't need a genie to take us back in time. We had Trident University and her staff. See, Trident broadened our educations, but only we can broaden our minds and make this world a better place. So don't waste time, whether you continue on to an even higher education or rejoin the workforce with your new credentials. Today is the beginning to a new tomorrow. Remember, we are different now than when we started. We are more prepared and more confident to overcome whatever challenges we may face. Aspire, believe, and achieve. Never stop learning. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Carrie. You're a great reflection of our the Trident student body, and we appreciate your commitment to citing your speech. We have an, uh, a plaque here to present to you for your achievement. Thank you very much. <laughs>